guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. I'm still a little bit sleepy, but today I'm coming back at you in another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. I believe we are on Caitlin's path. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while I entertain you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go, girl. Okay. <clears throat> I was worried today, you know. Hmm? I suddenly felt so comfortable I didn't even have the courage to speak. I was fighting off the desire to close my eyes and just doze off on the spot. At first, I was afraid that I had said something I shouldn't have and that you'd be angry at me. Still, when I heard about you challenging Arushihara, I thought that I had done the right thing after all, confronting you about it. I'll admit, I'll admit just to see this pitiful performance of yours. It was clear you weren't even close to playing to your best potential. Y you really think so? He slowly nods. I thought it couldn't have been a bad thing if you got to decide to face your own fears, but you ended up trying so hard to get over your block that you ended up playing worse for it. I... I didn't think I was doing all that bad. <laughs> Sorry, man, but you were. Missing up an obvious chance, missing up on obvious chances to score, completely losing your cool, shots less accurate than usual, just everything was off. Rushihara definitely improved a lot on the other hand. I'm pretty sure he'd have beaten you if you were if, if beaten you if you weren't injured. But then again, only because you suck today. I guess the mind really is a tricky thing, and here I thought it was being fierce. Confusing crudeness for fierceness, that's what you were doing. You should just acknowledge your problems and try to work through them slowly. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Duly noted. He taps on my forehead with his index finger, getting up from the bench and looking down at me. All right, then. I think we should head out as well. Oh, come on, Mom. Five more minutes. She which he laughs, looking at me with a, warm, with a warm smile. Sorry, no. You're exhausted right now. You should head home and rest. But... Don't make me yell at you, too. G getting up right now. A rocket jumped out of my seat, making him laugh again. I quickly put up, I quickly put my things back into my bag and get ready to head out. Do you want to just head home? I can deliver the keys to the front desk. I was hoping we could walk home together. Sorry, but I can. I kind of skipped on some student council duties to come here, so I should probably head to my vice president's house and get things smoothed out with him. Oh, all right. Uh, I'll leave things to you then. I'll leave things to you then. Uh, here's the keys. I toss him the key belt, which he easily grabs from the air. All right, then. I'll head to the front desk, and then I'll go to the train station. See you tomorrow. See ya. See ya. We walk in different directions, waving at each other as we get as we get further apart. God, I feel like I was run over by a truck. I guess there's still a lot I need to figure out before I get back on my feet, huh? Saturday finally comes, and not a moment too soon. I'm left standing by myself in front of the train station. Despite still being in spring, the hot, humid air is more reminiscent of summer. I stand in a small patch of shade, desperately fanning myself with my own hand to avoid dying of a heat stroke. So far, I haven't been very successful. Shuichi made the last-minute decision that we, that we should all go out this weekend to spend some quality time with friends. Of course, this time we made sure to check if Sai would be available to go out this weekend. It was tough for her, but she managed to, t she managed to make some adjustments to her schedule to have her afternoon shift covered today. Which brings me to where I am now. Where the hell is everyone? My phone's clock tells me it's already 9.40. They were supposed to be here ten minutes ago. I think I'm starting to head deja vu. Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. <laughs> yuichi san Yep, definitely deja vu. June's voice echoes from amidst the crowd, making me turn my head sideways to search for him. My eyes finally find him walking towards me. Kaken also seems to be walking right behind him. Shh! Don't scream out in the middle of the streets, you idiot! Ah! Realization dawns on him. Tiger then covers his mouth with both of his hands. Many of his many of the passersby are now staring at the two of them with curiosity. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Kaken starts bowing frantically to every person that happens to sneak a glance. Meanwhile, June starts fidgeting around where he stands. From the look on his face, I'd say he just realized how many people are actually around here at the same around here at the time. Now my arm is the one having a deja vu. Why are you two causing a commotion first thing in the morning? It takes me a while to make my way around. It takes me a while to make my way around the people who have somewhat stopped moving to look at the two morons who just caused a scene. That's not like this was my idea. He just screamed out all of a sudden. Uh! June is fidgeting in place, his eyes glued to the floor in embarrassment. I tried giving him an encouraging pat on the back. Don't worry about it so much. Just try not to stand out the ne next time that much. Uh! <laughs> my words seem to have the opposite effect. Oh well, nothing I can do about that. By the way, Kaken, have you seen Shuichi yet? If I had, don't you think he'd be with us already? Good point. God, 
poor June. That was worth a shot anyway. C can we go someplace less crowded? I see June shaking as he tries to reach for my arm, which I quickly move away from his grasp. Nope, sorry, I love my arm way too much to let you do that again. Jeez, I can understand not liking crowds. I myself feel claustrophobic in them, but this? This is too much. Yuichi san, please get him somewhere more quiet before he has a mental breakdown. I'll wait for Urata here. All right then, thanks, Kaken. Come on, June. Let's go to let's go to that sweet shop we visited last time. Ooh. Not even capable of forming complete sentences anymore. Got it. As we go inside, the sweet smell of cinnamon pleasantly tickles my nose. Well, I don't remember smelling anything like this last time. Welcome to Ah Junkin. Standing behind the counter is a class rep who flashes us a radiant smile as we get closer. C class rep, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh my, that's true. You don't know about it. My family actually owns this store, so I help around part-time. She finally notices June standing next to me, clinging to my shirt and quaking from his fear of crowds. Oh dear, what happened to poor Junkun? Crowds. Despite my incredibly short explanation, she gives me a knowing smile, grabbing a bonbon from behind the counter and walking over to us. Junkun, would you like a sweet? It's on the house. Her warm smile and the smell of the chocolate snap June out of his trance. He looks up her up and down and shyly takes the bonbon from her hand. But thank you. She puts a hand on her cheek. He puts she puts a hand on her cheek, giggling cheerfully. He's so cute, isn't he? June finally lets go of my shirt, carefully unwrapping the small truffle in his hand and palping it in his mouth. So, rep. Oh, no need to call me that when we're out of the out of the school. Just call me Ayachan. Uh Ayaka san. We actually came by last week and we didn't see you. Um, I usually work here after class on weekdays and in the morning on Saturdays. Ah, could it be that you came around here on a Sunday? I usually have that day off. Yeah, that was it. Still, your family owns the shop, huh? Wow, must be pretty good money having a business right on the main street. Oh, yes, and we also have some of the best sweets in the town, if I do say so myself. I'm actually training to inherit the shop from my grandfather. I try imagining Class Rep as a business owner. Somehow, her lax personality doesn't seem to fit the ruthless image of a business owner I have in mind. My kind of sweets do- what kind of sweets do you sell here, anyway? Last time we came around, we only saw traditional Japanese sweets. Ah, yes, we mainly sell those, but we also make some Western sweets, too. Nowadays, you have to market to every crowd you can. And if I'm being honest, I prefer the per- I tend to- I happen to prefer the Western sweets, anyway. By the way, Junkum, the one you just ate is one of our new confections. It's a sweet milk cinnamon dough filled with dolce de leche and covered in chocolate. We started selling it just last week and have been selling out of it every day. Wow, it sounds like it's pretty become pretty popular. How much does it cost? Let me pay for June's... Oh, don't be silly, that's on the house. I'm just glad to be able to help. But if you'd like to buy some sweets for yourself, I actually have a display with some samples you can try. I glance at June, who's entranced watching a rotating display of mini cakes and hasn't even registered a conversation going on around him. I much prefer him like this, so I think I'd rather stay indoors for now. Sure, why not? I hear the door opening as I'm walking around the shop, sampling a few sweets. There you two are. Seriously, at least answer your phone. I turn around to see June, to see Shuichi and Keikun standing at the door. Oh, hello, Shokun and Keichan. Keichan? Ah, yako chan I didn't know you were working part-time, too. Well, sort of. My family owns this store, you see, so I help around when I can. Would you guys like to try some samples, too? She smiles so warmly that it's hard not to feel at ease in her presence. I'm completely taken aback. Taken, a, I completely take back what I said. She has a natural gift as a saleswoman. Shuichi and Kei can look at each other for a few seconds, as if pondering what to do, before finally shrugging and walking over to the display. Well, I've already decided what I was going to get. Re, I mean, Ayako-san, uh, could you give me two of each of the sweets I've tried? Oh my, that's a lot. Are you sure about this, Yukon? Beyond me to try and decide what you can or can't do, but I'd imagine all that sugar wouldn't be too good for an athlete. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not going to eat all of them by myself. I'm taking stuff from my brother and my mother, too. Oh, I see. What a good son and brother you are. All right. Would you like me to pack them inside a paper bag or a sweets box? The box costs extra, but it makes for a great gift. Hmm. How about you pack these four in the bag and the rest in the box? That way I can eat mine without pa unpacking the box. Oh, yes, good choice. Just a second. She comes back in less than a minute with my order neatly packed in a brown paper bag and a box filled with sweets in her other hand. Here you go. 
Oh my god, I need to get up and exercise soon, guys. Mm, Alright. Perhaps it'll get my blood flowing. Alright. Here you go. It'll be 2010 yen. Okay, just a sec. Ah! I look back and see June, and see June still walking up, up and down the shop, looking at all the sweets in sight. Good thing we're the only ones here. Otherwise, I can imagine how disturbing this would be for, for this would be for the other patrons. June, is there something you want? I'll buy it for you. Uh, uh really? I nod, and his whole face just lights up. Huh, <laughs> Yuichi, how come you won't make me that same offer? You have money to buy your own sweet. Stop being such a mooch. Shut up. Do you two just go looking for a reason to squabble, or does it just come naturally to you? <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you're all just as energetic outside of school as you are inside of it. I'm not. You're not the only one who has to deal with them all day. Shut up! Shut it! Oh my! You two are more compatible than I thought. The two both look at each other at the same time before they both look away with a huff. Why are you making it worse? <laughs> I'm sorry, it just really gets dull here sometimes. June sheepishly walks up to the counter. Uh, um, Yuichi-san, can, can I take one of the, each of these? I want to bring some for my parents, too. June points to an array of assorted sweets, among them some bonbons, cakes, mochi. Is this really all you're taking? For you and your parents? He nods slowly. From the way that he stares longingly at them, I can already imagine he's embarrassed of asking for more. Buy more. Yakuchan, you can you give me three of each of these inside of a box? Oh what? For half a second she turns she looks stunned, then she giggles, looking very pleased. That's so sweet of you. You're such a good friend. Alright, I'll be right back. But but Yuichi san, that's too much. No, it's not. Don't worry about it. I'm not anywhere close to being over my budget anyway, and I won't hear no for an answer. But but Ooh, it looks delicious. Class rep soon comes back, placing three identical boxes that neatly stack on top of each other like a ladder. I peer inside before she finishes wrapping it, marveling at how pretty everything looks inside. God, that looks delicious. None of the sweets have even a single smudge or smush on them. Shmush. And they somehow look even more pristine than they did behind the glass counter. She also leans she leans in close to my ear and whispers something. I'm going to give you a 50% discount on this. Just pretend it's the full price. I nod along. That'll be 2,345 yen, and don't worry, the packaging is already included. That seems good to me. I fish inside my wallet for a 5,000 yen bill and hand it to her. Thank you for your patronage. What about you boys? Have you decided on anything? The two, as the two make their orders, I hand June, I hand June sweets to him inside a plastic bag. Here, enjoy. But thank you, Yuichi-san. Instead of taking the bag that I'm holding from my hand, he suddenly gives me a tight hug. Despite being caught by surprise, I don't pull away, instead giving him a pat on his back as he buries his face on my, sh on my chest. Oh my! I look back to see the class rep covering her mouth with her hands, her face red. Chuichi and Kasich are standing next to each other, grinning. Alright, you two. Maybe don't do that inside the store in front of the main street. People are looking at you through the window. I look out and see that, in fact, many people are passing by and staring at us as they do so. I quickly jump away from June, nearly knocking him down when I do so. Oh, sorry, here's your sweets! He doesn't even look me in the eyes when he takes the bag from my hands. Hiyakasan giggles. Damn it, my face feels so hot right now! Once we finish shopping around, we exit the store back out to the busy main street. We've barely even left it, and June already starts to freak out. C can we go someplace else now? I don't like being out in the street. You know, you're gonna have to get used to this sooner or later. The school trip is about four months away. Sure, but we've never gone anywhere that wasn't at least twice the size of Saitama. At the mention of the school trip, June whines pitifully, making me roll my eyes in frustration. Oh, that's true. We have the school trip in July, huh? I need to talk to my father about it. Has the school already re revealed where your class is going to? Yeah, they did yesterday. It's Paris. Shuichi whistles in admiration. Maybe they'll take the third year somewhere interesting this year, too. Last year, he went to the Chiba Prefecture. Didn't we go to Hong Kong when we were freshmen? Oh, yeah. Saya got food poisoning from some questionable dumplings and spent the rest of the trip in bed. All right, don't eat any foods that haven't been prepared by a reputable restaurant. I'll keep that in mind. I think it's less to do with the restaurant's reputation and more to do with us. Japanese people have pretty fragile stomachs. It doesn't take much to get us sick. Over 80% of Japan's population is lactose intolerant. You can't really expect much from our stomachs. What am I supposed to do, then? Not eat? Stick to the food the hotel staff prepares, I'd say. But what is even the point of visiting a foreign country, then? 
point is actually going around instead of staying stuck to your bed with indigestion. Okay, you win this time. Uh, um... I feel someone grabbing onto my arm. When I look back, I see June at the edge of a breakdown, clinging desperately to me. Oh no, not this again! He stares. He starts squeezing my arm again. I can already feel the blood flow being cut off. Okay, let's move it, people! I don't want to lose my arm! Shuichi pulls out his phone. It's still a bit early. Sai asked us to come for to come for to the dinner for lunch so she could join us after her shift ends. But it's still way too early for lunch. Where should we go? There's a library nearby. How about we go there? Really? A library? On our day off? We should go we should go someplace where we can relax. How about we go to a tea parlor? There's a good one a couple of streets away. Oh no, I don't even like tea. You don't have to drink the tea, you can just have some snacks. One second, guys, let me plug my phone in. There we go. Okay. Plugged in, and there you are. Okay. Lunch is in less than two hours. We should be stuffing ourselves with food. We can show up a bit later. They serve lunch until 2 p.m. anyway. There'd be no point in going too early, because we'd have to wait around anyway. Uh, uh, anywhere's fine. He squeezes harder. Crap, my arm's tingling. Ow, 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 just pick some place already, I don't care. Why don't we have Yuichi-san choose, then? It'd be easier than arguing about it. That sounds like a good idea. What do you think? Let's go to the library this time. No offense, but I'm not a huge fan of tea, either. I'd rather go to the library. Aw, uh, but it's our day off. They have fiction, too, you know. Yeah, but it's our day off. I thought you liked books. I was, I was, hoping, to do some, I was hoping to do something more exciting with my friends, okay? Man, seriously, pause when you talk. I can barely understand what you're saying. She would she groans. Since I know where the library is, I just turn around and start walking that way. When I look behind my back to see if Shuichi is following, I see that Kaken has grabbed, grabbed his arm and is dragging him along by his hand. After a brief walk to a nearby library, I say brief, but ten minutes of June grabbing desperately at my arm among a crowd underneath a sweltering heat made me feel like I was in my own personal hell. We finally found it. We finally find it. While it's not a huge building by any means, it's also not something to scoff at. Walking through the doors, I feel a puff of cold air cold air coming from the air condition air conditioned interior, which I have to say feels damn good against my fur. Ah e even June instinctively lets go of my arm, as the cold air seems to help him relax a bit. Actually, looking to the side, everyone's expression seems to have softened up immediately upon entry. I guess I wasn't the only one suffering under that heat. This this feels pretty good, actually. See, I told you the library was a good idea. Oh, sure, that's why you wanted to come to the library, because of their air conditioning. Hey, that's a hell of a lot better than wanting to get tea. As if it weren't hot enough already, you wanted us to get hot drinks? Cold tea's a thing that exists, you know. And by any chance were you going to get it? N no. See? As I prepare myself to slap some sense into the two of them, seriously, who argues inside a library? My work has suddenly turned moot by the arrival of the librarian. A portly Greg otter wearing some kind of neat some kind of neat black vest and a collared white shirt. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell if a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Guys, I'm uploading a lot more personal stuff to Twitter. My Twitter my Twitter is Drakewing Gaming, so don't forget to check that out if you want to see more of my personal life and memes and such. So anyway guys, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!